Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Ashkin Binti Kairi and I will be explaining the admin page. Before administrators may access the platform, they must first fill out the admin username and password. Once admin successful login into, into their account, the next screen will show the Manage Student. This Manage Student page show all the students who has done uh, register by admin. It will turn out in the Manage Student page. The admin can edit the student profile, delete the student profile uh, as you can see in this video and can reset student password next admin can click menu button if admin click the menu button it will show all the function that can be used by the admin in order to conduct registration process if the admin want to add new session admin must to click session button in the, in the menu bar admin can add session for students select the year when the student enters the university okay If admin wrongly entered the session, they can click the delete button to delete the session. As you can see in this video, in the semester page, uh, admin can add semester like this. And admin also can delete the semester if they wrongly entered the semester. Faculty page also same like other page. Admin can add faculty like this. And also admin can delete the faculty if admin wrongly entered the faculty next in the program page uh, admin must add program code and program name Admin also can edit and delete if they wrongly entered the program code and program name. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Nurul Shahira. Now I will continue from course in admin. In course page, we have to insert course code and course name into the table. So I will show you some example. When admin insert course code and the course name and click the submit button, the data will display at the manage course. Admin also can delete or edit the information. For example, I will delete it. So, course have been deleted. Next, I will show you how to register student first we need to insert the student name student id and student password for example i will insert student id and password and then click submit so student registered successfully will pop up
So we can go to manage student and see our data just now. Yeah, it's inserted successfully in manage student. Now I will show the database. First, we have admin table. In admin, we have ID, username, password, creation date, and updation date. Next is course. We have ID, course code, course name, and creation date. Next, we have faculty. We have ID, faculty, and creation date. In program, we have ID, program code, program name, creation date, and updation date. For register, we have ID, student ID, session, faculty, program code, course name, semester, and enroll date. Next is semester. We have ID, semester, creation date, and updation date. Next is session. In session, we have ID, session, and creation date. In students table, we have student ID, student photo, password, student name, session, department, semester, CGPA, question day, and application day. Next is user log. Assalamualaikum, my name is Fahanani Salaha binti Azmisha from CS1104B. So here I'm going to show you our system which is the student registration system. In the student registration system, we got the login page for the student. Student need to enter their student ID and their password to log into the system. For example, And click log in to log into the system. So here we got the menu bar. In the menu bar, we got welcome text, and it will display the student name. We we also got my profile page, course registration page, and log out. For the my profile page, it will display the student registration information, which is the student name student ID, student CGPA, student photo, and uh, student can upload their new photo to update their profile. For example, student needs to click the update button and the record will update successfully to their profile. Next, we go to the course registration page. In the course registration page, it will display the student name, student ID, student photo, and it requires student to choose their session, faculty, program code, course, and semester. So, student needs to choose their course information to register their course and student need to click submit to to submit the course registration that they have made lastly student can click to the logout uh, assalamualaikum my name is no nazirah binti puat i will explain about course registration system for mobile apps uh, so this is login page uh, student need to enter student ID and password to log in into the system. Uh, for the first time user, uh, student need to sign up first. Uh, so, student need to fill in the sign up page. Uh, first name. Second email uh, Third student ID And 
and lastly password Uh, next, uh, click button register to save data and click already sign up. Uh, and uh, fill in student ID. Uh, and password. Uh, same as uh, in sign up page and click log in button uh, to log in into the system okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Ain Kanisha binti Muhammad Roslan and I will continue the user manual presentation for mobile apps. Um, next, after we log in into the app system, we will first display my profile screen. Uh, and as you can see, there are men menu button at the side. Uh, and in the menu, there are three selection button. Uh, first, my profile, uh, course registration, and log out button. So, in, in my profile screen, they are state the student name and student ID. And so, as the, at this screen, we can insert our CGPA and our student picture. Uh, and I will insert CGPA 3.3.3. To five and click upload and uh, choose file image from uh, and I will select any picture for testing and click update button to update the new profile info. Okay, so next uh, we will go to course registration screen. Click the course registration at site menu selection. Okay. Okay, in this uh, screen, in this course registration screen, we can select our course uh, info, first season, I will choose uh, 2020, faculty, faculty computer science and mathematics. Uh, for program code CS110 course I will select national kesatria and fundamental of entrepreneurship and semester Semester four. So after we select all the course info, uh, click uh, submit button, and it will go to display our course information info. Um, all the course in registration info that we update here. Ok, 
Okay, this uh, screen you can see the info that we selected in course registration. So, uh, you can click uh, back button. We will go to back to the course registration page. Okay, lastly, you can log out uh, the app system by clicking the log out button at menu selection. So, later it will uh, display log out screen uh, in the response. Okay, now I will uh, explain some block code uh, from mobile apps. Okay, we do in the apps for sign up uh, screen. When uh, register button is clicked, uh, the web will uh, request the file sign up .php file and it will store the text in the mm, text box which is name, email, student ID and password and when the word got text it will give the respond content and it will say the sign up dot php uh, respond contents. So we open this is the sign up the PHP. This is the query. When we select all from the user with student ID equal to student ID. Check the data. And insert in the correction database to look in the database. So if check, it will echo data and we have. Okay, else uh, it will insert into the user all the new data. When login button click, do open another screen, which is screen one. Screen one is oh. and then when, when login button click, do open another screen, which is screen one. Screen one is the login screen. When login button uh, click it will uh, request the the web will request uh, login.php file so it will store the data that has been insert into the text box student id and password and when it got text it will get response contents from the file this is login This is my, this is the read profile block. It will display the student name and student ID 
Dek. Uh, same in the database so when my profile initialize I will call wait for a moment loading then we read uh, from read profile.php and when web1 got text it will display the data in the page 